We continue our celebration of Black History Month with an update on things to come at the Cleveland Cultural Gardens. 2016 marked the completion of phase one at the African American Garden. But the vision for its message, not quite complete. Three News senior commentator Leon Bibb shows us what phase two will bring. He is our travel guide, showing us the way. Obi Shelton, who lives and works in Greater Cleveland, is at times more than that, but don't let this throw you. He is a time traveler, taking those with him through the years, the generations, the centuries. Today is one of those occasions as we are stepping deep into the past. Come with me and Obi Shelton, time traveler, storyteller, and historian. This, when it is built, will be a way to tell that story because it chronicles everything. The everything of which he speaks is the story of a people, African Americans. This is the African American Garden of the world-renowned Cleveland Cultural Gardens. Running along Martin Luther King Drive and East Boulevard are the Cultural Gardens group of more than 30, each representing an ethnic group in Northeast Ohio. Shelton is the executive director of the African American Garden, now moving into a second phase toward completion for this green space which has been dedicated to African Americans. What it chronicles is... From slavery to the movement north, everybody who came up north, usually for a better life. Some structures on the garden have been in place for a few years. Architectural renderings show what is to come, of what is envisioned. The second phase of the garden has to do with water. For slaves escaping the Confederacy before and during the American Civil War and their post-war descendants who made up the great migration of blacks moving north, water was key. They crossed the Ohio River or other streams and waterways to the north as they sought better lives. Some even crossed Lake Erie for the freedom of Canada. In the garden, the accent will be on water. So all of those waterways are represented by this water that is intertwined with our history. All of the Cleveland Cultural Gardens are privately funded. Shelton estimates it will take $3 million to finish the job of establishing waterways. In many ways, the African American Garden is in its structure a storyteller. Every ethnicity in America has their story. Reflections of African American history. This part of the garden symbolizes the narrow door through which Africans walked through as they were chained and bound for slavery in this country. This narrow space symbolizes the door of no return. There needs to be a place that we look at and we can tell our story accurately and we can all interpret our stories through that symbol. Obi Shelton is walking the land, symbolically retracing the route millions of Americans over the generations took to find new lives in Ohio and other areas. At the African American Garden of the historic and beautiful Cleveland Cultural Gardens, their story is being told along with the route they took. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb. Another fantastic, important story from Leon. It's great to see Obi as well, our former colleague here at Channel 3. There is no date yet on when Phase 2 might be completed and fundraising is ongoing. Volunteers are needed, though, so we put that information for you on WKYC.com.